In this video, you'll learn how to use the new overview page in Microsoft Defender for Office 365 to gain insight into its effectiveness in your organization's tenant. To get started, select Email and Collaboration, followed by Overview. The Fish and Malware Efficacy Card answers the question, what is the effectiveness of my tenant? by providing transparency into Defender for Office 365 and the protection it provides within your tenant. The score is based on objective math and is an accurate representation of our effectiveness. Each category in the graph shows the number of included messages over the past 30 days, like items removed via Zap, items detected before reaching a recipient's mailbox, and items identified by Zap where another remediation took place first, such as administrative, user, or third-party deletes. Select Learn More to dig deeper into this card. Moving on to the Threat Detections card, you learn what's being caught and how, as well as which category each threat falls into. Like the last card, the graph shows the number of messages detected by specific technologies over the past 30 days. Also, like before, select Learn More to better understand what each category includes. Now I'll take you down to the Optimize section which shows Admin Insights. The Priority Accounts card shows how many accounts you've assigned the Priority Account tag for additional protection. You can add additional accounts or edit existing ones by selecting Add Employees to go to the Email and Collaboration Settings page. For additional information about managing and monitoring Priority Accounts, select Learn More. The Posture Recommendations card reflects actions in Microsoft Secure Score that have a status value of completed. The bar graphs show the number of users that SafeLinks protects, as well as the number of users Safe Attachments protects. Obviously, the goal here is to see 100% on both bars. Under Recommendations, you can select the SafeLinks and Safe Attachments policies to understand and edit the policies causing this score. Next, we'll dig into the Risky Allows section. The Messages Allowed card shows the number of messages in mailboxes due to your tenant allow lists, exchange transport rules, and other policies. It indicates how many of these were risky and the type of risk. Select View All Messages to view the Threat Protection Status Report. The Tenant Allow Types card shows messages sent to mailboxes by tenant allow lists, if any are configured in your tenant. Select Review Allow List to go to the Tenant Allow Block Lists page. The Exchange Transport Rules card shows messages that reached user mailboxes if transport rules are in place. Select Review Rules to go to the Exchange Admin Center to add, edit, or make changes to existing rules. Last, the Insights section shows details of all the attacks that Defender for Office 365 has seen, like the most encountered phishing attack types by volume for the review period selected, and any notable threats observed by Microsoft security researchers. Select View All to view in-depth reports on the latest threats and high-impact threats. The final card on the overview page is the Microsoft 365 Secure Email Gateway Performance Card, which compares Defender for Office 365's effectiveness against other third-party secure email gateways. For each product, the graph shows the high-confidence fish and malware missed per 1,000 users across our service. Here, the lower the number, the better. In Defender for Office 365, the new Overview page is a one-stop shop for obtaining valuable insight into your tenant, allowing you to make informed decisions based on key data points found by Microsoft to be useful over the past year. To learn more about it, we encourage you to see our documentation on Microsoft Learn. Microsoft Security.